Listen. Daily I'm renewed by God's word and I am strengthened. Daily life is beautiful for me. Daily I succeed in every circumstance. Daily I am always winning. Do challenges come, but it can weigh me down. I don't give up I'm from above. For the great and wood lives inside of me. I am born of God. Challenges come, but it can weigh me down. I don't give up I'm from above. Yes, the great and wood lives inside of me. I was born of God. Yeah. Say, when the read. I am lifted up. I am lifted up. Far above is in my dreams. I was born victorious. Say you ain't the reason I am lifted up. I am lifted up. I am lifted up. Far above is in my dreams. One more time. Say you ain't the reason I am lifted up.
I can never feel No disadvantage Somebody saying that this morning Victory is sure Let me hear you say Can be defeated Say I can never fail Now, what will happen to you? Somebody say, I'm lifted up far above what I was born. Tell your neighbor, I am a big, I'm an overcomer. I was born victorious. I will gain victory this week, I will gain victory this month in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We read scriptures this morning. We read scriptures this morning. But I'd like you to just sing this song with me. One of the songs we used to sing. Uh, no instruments yet. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. Today, oh. I will lift up my voice in praise For I know You are always there for me Almighty God Almighty God You, 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 yeah. you are my heart, we know no matter, no matter. 
we'll come back to the song. Heavenly Father, we'll pray that today we will have reasons to praise you. It's the beginning of a new month. May this month open channels of praises for us. We ask that this month heaven will be opened over us. May we sing songs. May we praise you. May we sing hymns. May we have causes to rejoice in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, may you perfect that which concerned us. I pray for every man, every woman who is sad here. May you restore our joy. For those who are facing one problem or the other, may the Lord make us victorious in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The song we sang at the beginning says, For I know you are always there for me. Did I get it right? Almighty God. Can you sing with me? You are my holy Lord, no matter. No, no matter what I, what I face. face. Now wait at that level. Don't sing again. When troubles, not success. No matter what, what I, I face. face. When, when troubles come my way, I will praise the Lord. It's easy to sing when success comes. It is when troubles comes, when challenges comes. So it is that was the way we used to sing it before. Before people started saying no, uh, trouble is a negative confession. Whether we say it or not, there is trouble. As you look left and right, there are pressures. Do you agree with me? Are, are there pressures around? Now, some of us, even seated as you are, even you, you are a pressure. When pressure comes my way, I will praise the Lord. So we will sing it together. To tell, I will lift up my voice and praise. No matter what comes your way, may you come out and overcome her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. We will see people praising God. Then we will also enter into a covenant with the Lord. This month of September, it will end with praises. I can hear your voice in the name of Jesus. This month of September will end in praise. I wish you can say with me, my month of September will end in praise. I can hear your voice. This September, you will end in praise. It will not end in tears. It will not end in sorrow. It will not end in lamentation. I wish you can say it louder, my month of September. You are my month of praise. You will end in praise. I wish you can say it louder, my month of September. It seems like I'm only hearing my own voice, my month of September. You will end in praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No matter what I face, when trouble comes my way, I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you just allow me to read scriptures this morning? John 16 33. John 16 33. Jesus said, These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In this world, ye will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. 
tell your neighbor, I am born an overcomer. And I will overcome in the name of Jesus. I can hear your voice. Now, in John 16, 23, Jesus Christ said, Be of good cheer. Please turn to somebody and say, Be of good cheer. Another word for be of good cheer is brighten up. Tell your neighbor, brighten up. What other words can we say? Be of good cheer. Cheer up. Another word for cheer up is what? Losing your eyes. Stop frowning your face. Can you tell your neighbor, take it easy? Are they listening? Can you tell your neighbor, relax? Even the way you are saying the relax, the relax did not relax yet. Can you say relax in a relaxing way? Relax. That it is where the Lord is in control in the name of Jesus. Is your neighbor smiling or frowning? Yes. Can you help me use? Can you lay hands on your neighbor and say, I condition you to smile? Can you pray for her and say, Smile, begin to smile in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Even with all of this, we have not even seen some people's teeth. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Take it easy. We are talking to you. Praise God. That's the spirit of September. Please don't throw a pity party. You are an overcomer. Don't go carrying carry a frowny face. Don't allow ceaseless tears to take over your life. Jesus said there will be challenges. There will be problems. There will be difficulties. There will be tribulation as far as we are in this world but be of good cheer i have overcome the world for you now it is because many of us didn't get to that verse that oftentimes anytime there's a little problem we start having suicidal thoughts we start thinking of i will kill myself no when you kill yourself or you take your life you die with the problem you need not die with the problem you can solve the problem and testify on the problem and say i want to thank god the lord gave me victory the lord give me joy the lord did it for me the lord turned my life around i am praying for somebody here today that this month you will stand up and testify to the goodness of god you will tell your generation the lord is good you will tell the generation that god has surprised me hallelujah hallelujah i feel like singing i feel like singing this morning and telling people what we have waited for i do i just feel like singing see what the lord has done that will come out of your mouth in the name of jesus now as you read the testimonies and the life of people in the scripture you see problem you see challenges you see tears psalm 42 psalm 42 verse 1 to 4 psalm 42 verse 1 to 4 as the earth panted after the water brooks so panted my soul after thee O god verse 2 my soul tasted for god for the living god when shall i come and appear before god i have things to say i want to ask god why is this my problem verse 3 my tears have been my meat day and night why they continually say unto me where is thy god brother joseph every day Ori of her, sister Mary, every night, Ori of her, where is that God? He said, While I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I have gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept the holy day. Now, when you get to verse 5, this is somebody's story. He said, Why are that cast down? Oh my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Can you say with me, I shall yet praise him? Can you say with me, it will end in praise? 
I can hear your voice. It will hand them praise. I wish you can say it louder. It will hand the praise. The psalmist is saying, My soul, don't give up yet. It is not over till it's over. Men may be laughing at me now, but I will have the last laugh in the name of Jesus. I know that he who laughs last will last best. Maybe people are mocking you, laughing at you. The Lord asked me to declare to you, someone here this morning, you are going to have the last laugh. You will rejoice. You will sing. You will shout. You will scream. You will declare the glory of the Lord. You will say, see what the Lord has done. That which you have been waiting for, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It was the Sabbath speaking to himself and saying, My soul, why are you cast down? Get, get set. Your joy is going to come. Soon and very soon, you will praise the Lord truth. Soon and very soon, it will be your turn for testimony. Soon and very soon everything may be against you now it will turn in your favor everything that has worked against you will work for you i'm not hearing your amen now even this season that you have it seems like nobody is interested in you i am praying for somebody here people that have not even shown interest they begin to show interest in the name of jesus so if you are going through a hard time several people went through it they documented their story in the Bible so that you know that you are not the first to go through hardship in life. Many people have gone through it before. They made it. We will also make it. Psalm 137. Psalm 137. The, the writer of that psalm challenged me. By the rivers, verse 1, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. There, yea, we wept when we remembered. We lost Zion. We lost singing. Verse 2. We hugged our hearts upon the willows in the midst thereof. Verse 3. For there they that carried us away captive requires of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mouth saying sing us one of the songs of zion everybody can we read verse 4 together how shall we sing the lord's song in a strange land this was the experience of the jews by the rivers of babylon they were taken away they were taken into captive it was a very sorrowful period in their life it was a period they will never wish to remember again but here they are they had to go through it their enemies were taunting them they said sing for us we learn that you are the praise team leader in your church come and sing praises for us they knew you are going through the hardest moment in time and they said please we learn that you are in choir can you sing one song for us they said how shall we sing the lord's song in a strange land they hung their harps on the willows nearby they said no we are never going to sing again the jews in babylon postponed their singing some suspended it and said never we may never have reason to sing again to those who have hanged their harps on trees the lord asked me to ask you to go and pick it up because your captors everybody mocking you we know that you have a god you will sing you will dance you will rejoice you will celebrate you will jump for joy you will have reasons to worship god you will have reasons to glorify god your time of visitation will come the lord will give you new tunes the lord will give you new songs the lord will give you new hymns in the name of jesus it wasn't easy for them to sing again they just felt like we may never never sing again and i want to beg you this morning to those who have looked at life and said ah, it can never be better again please change your mind better days are ahead and they will come for you psalm 84 
can we see somebody's experience again psalm 84 somebody's experience let me read from verse 1 psalm 84 is one of the psalms people read when they go to the house of the lord how amiable are thy tabernacles O lord of hosts my soul longed yea even fainted for the courts of the lord my heart and my flesh cried out for the living god yea the sparrow had found an house and the sparrow is the swallow nest for ourselves where she may lay her young even thy altars O lord of hosts my king and my god blessed are they that dwell in thy house they, they will be still praising thee verse 5 blessed is the man whose strength is in thee in whose heart are thy ways of death can we all read verse 6 together and 7 who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well the rain also filleth the pools verse 7 they go from strength to strength every one of them in Zion appeareth before God can you say with me I will pass through the valley of Baca I can't hear your voice. Can you say it louder? 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 I wish I can hear your voice. Can we scream? Now, if you don't pass through the valley of Baca, then it means that you are sitting in the valley of Baca. Baca means weeping. Baca means tears. Baca means crying they pass through it there are people who gets to baka who makes it their house they sit in their baka they start crying they start throwing the pity party they start telling people you don't know what i'm going through but there is a generation they pass through it people say but what about your tears is that i was my yesterday this is my today i am no longer living in my yesterday i passed through it i did not sit there can you tell your neighbor pass through it i'm not hearing your voice don't sit down there baka is not your home not the baka that you are playing ball with too. this baka have you seen the baka i'm reading which place am i reading because some of you are already saying ah, reverend is saying baka no i'm not talking about football though. it's in the bible the valley of baka some versions we say the valley of weeping they passed through they had their tears they didn't allow their tears to cover their eyes they moved on please tell your neighbor it's time to move i can't hear your voice it's time to move this is a new month we move and we will enter into our joy in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 they didn't allow the tears to destroy them when you get to psalm 6 we come back there please let's quickly move to psalm 6 in psalm 6 the psalmist was talking about crying in verse 6 psalm 6 verse 6 psalm 6 says i am weary with my groaning all the night make i my bed to swim i water my what my couch with what with my tears anytime i sleep people think i am sleeping i am not sleeping i couldn't find sleep i was crying and when i noticed i discovered that my bed is wet it was with my tears but friends you won't stay there you are crossing from tears to joy that's a point in life but not your main destination passing through the valley of baka they make it a well they make it a point they make it a testimony psalm 126 says those that sow in tears they will reap in joy your tears are seed today they will bring joy to you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ psalm 84 is about a group of people on a journey and on their journey they encounter things that brought pain some people will say well, well 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 if i'm going to jerusalem to go and worship god and i am finding tears why still go i'm going back home i'm going back home i think if god i want to go and worship knew that i want to go and worship him why will he allow discomfort and difficulties on my way friends 
there are channels you need to pass through there are channels you need to move through and they decided to make their valley of baka a place of well a place of well is making it a place of worship they worship on top of their tears they make it a place of joy and happiness they make it a place of fellowship even though they had tears running down their cheeks they still have a time of celebration in god's presence and they pass through it and we are passing through we are walking through psalm 23 says though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i shall fear no evil for thou art with me can you say with me i am walking through the valley i'm not here i'm not hearing your voice i'm walking through the valley i will not dwell in the valley i will not stay in the valley of baka i am walking through that valley i will get to the mountain top in the name of jesus your valley may be the valley of disappointment your valley may be the valley of detection your valley may be the valley of insult people came they heap insult on, on you or you have come to meet a valley of mockery people mocked you they mocked your god they mocked your soul they mocked your future they even looked at you and tell you nothing good can come out of your life please walk through it in the course of the week i came across a book i came across several years ago and that was the book uh, written by one man called peter j daniels and the title of the book is miss phillips you are wrong i came across the story in a book called the power of focus so i went to look for the book in lagos i was here in the shop. miss phillips you are wrong so i got to a major book store and i said please can i get this book they said yes we have it and miss phillips you are wrong is the story of a young man called peter daniel who was struggling in elementary school he was always struggling academically he was struggling and i'm sharing this for those who may be having a rough time with reading even when i try to read it's not sticking in my head peter was always struggling so in the class he said one time we moved from one area to another when we got to a new school adapting to the new school was more problematic for him but there's a particular teacher in his class Miss Phillips, who didn't like him. Miss Phillips believes that when I said A, B, C, everybody should be able to repeat. But Peter couldn't catch up with A, B, C in the elementary school. He was always struggling. So when he asked questions, he couldn't answer properly. So one day, Miss Phillips asked him to stand in before the class, primary school. I said, everybody look at this guy. You can never make it in life primary school student the thing hit him very well he never forgot what the teacher said the name of the teacher was miss phillips actually he was still struggling but he never forgot that statement you can never make it in life just because you did not know a b c d he said as they finished primary school he wasn't the best student he went to the next level he was still struggling he said he tried several things tried bricklaying tried other things nothing was working until he noticed that he has a flair for marketing and peter began to market and he discovered he had skills in marketing he said he began to do marketing and before he knew it he became a millionaire so when peter daniels became a millionaire what did he do he went to the to the gate of the primary school stood by the signboard did like this posted for a photograph and he wrote a book miss phillips you are wrong and if you see the chapters in the book you will fear god Chapter 1, Miss Phillips, you are wrong. You are not God. Chapter 2, Miss Phillips, you are wrong. How do you know what I will become in the future? Chapter 3, Miss Phillips, you are wrong. How much did you know about my packaging? Chapter 4, that was, 
she, he was still responding to what teacher said in primary school. When they mock you, it eats deep. It is those who have not been mocked who will not understand the language of mocking. That's I don't mock people. Because mockery can destroy lives. He became a millionaire. Now he starts going around the world, traveling around the world, teaching people. And wherever he goes, he carried that book with him. He said, well, I have a book to sell. Miss Phillips, you are wrong. Now, how will Miss Phillips feel like? When you realize the man you look down on, don't look down on anybody. You may know they are today, but you don't know they are tomorrow. You may see what they have today, but you don't know what God can do tomorrow. God turns life around overnight. He has done that severally right before my eyes. I've seen debtors become millionaire. And I kept wondering, God, how did you do it? They were serially in debt. And how God wiped away their debt and they started a beautiful life. I couldn't. I just, just did not know how God did it. And he has done it before. He's able to do it again. And he will do it in our lives. In the name of Jesus. So they passed through the valley of Baca. They passed through their valley of barrenness, their valley of affliction, their valley of confusion. Please tell your neighbor, we are passing through. We are going further in the name of Jesus. And you will get there in the name of Jesus. I'm praying that you will have a testimony. You will have a new song in the name of Jesus. Please, for those who have given up on life, you just felt, no, I'm not going to do anything again. I'm already tired. Please pick your life up together. Your life must not grind to a halt because of setbacks. Bounce back. Please tell yourself, I will bounce back. I'm not hearing your voice. I will bounce back. Can you also say with me, fight back. Can you say personally, I will fight back. I'm not hearing your voice. I will fight back. One of the teachings I teach people is the ability to fight back. Even if you fight and you get to the ground and it seems like you lost the battle, now take the element of salvation, hold the shield of faith and fight the enemy back to the wall. You can fight back by the mercies of the Lord. Winners don't quit. Quitters don't win. Tough times never last, but tough people do. Don't allow the storm to carry you away. Stand firm, and the siege will soon be over. Is there any siege in your home, in your family? Stand firm. The siege will soon be over. The book of Isaiah chapter 49, verse 13 to 16. We are getting ready. We will almost finish. And we will go and pray. I want us to make some declarations this morning. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 13. The Bible says, Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O heart. Break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people, and they will have mercy upon his afflicted. Now, who are those in verse 13 that God said they should sing? Those people who are already afflicted. Those people that needed comforting, God said, begin to sing, begin to dance, be excited. Things go up, about to change. You are about to enter into a new season. You are about to begin to soar on the wings of eagles. In verse 14, can we all read the response of Zion to that prophetic declaration in verse 14? But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me and my God had forgotten me. And God responded in verse 15, Can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget. Yet, I will not forget thee. Will you say, the Lord will not forget me? And as you sit at the end, the Lord has not forgotten you. So how did the Lord ensure that Zion will always remember he has not forgotten him? Can you hold your hands like this? So what did the Lord do in verse 16? Behold, I have graven thee where upon the palms of my hands and thy walls so everybody look lift up your hands like this on the hands of the almighty god what's there my name what's your name your name is Sholala Walabi. and the name is written written where 
So every time God looks at his hands, he sees only one name. What's your name? Where is your name? Even if they don't remember you at all, Jehovah remembers you. He knows what you are going through. Even if those who promised to call you back has not called back and you are saying, yeah, they have forgotten me. He said, I, I will never forget you. You are so special to me. You are so important to me. You are most, most, most bringing delight to my heart. I can never, never forget you. And so for those who are always having these insecurities, having these challenges, you had low self-esteem, always know you have a father that you can always run back to. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I will always remember you. Let's read three scriptures together and we use them to pray. Psalm 57 verse 7. That will be scripture number 1. Psalm 57 verse 7. What did the Lord say there to us? I will shout. I will sing. Go so be Now let's go to verse 7. Can we read it together? My heart is fixed. Oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sink. Another word for fixed is what? Constant. Another word to replace constant is what? What did you say? Resolute. Made up. My heart is consistent. Um, is, is it available? This one is fixed. I'm not going to change my mind. I will always sing. Verse 8. What did he not say in verse 8? Awake all. My glory, awake, sultry and harp. I myself will awake early. Verse 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. I'd like you to close your eyes in a minute and pray and say, Father, I will begin to praise you from today. Lord, every day in September, I will start with praise. I will end it in praise. I wish you could be clear with me. My heart is fixed from today. It will end in praise. Even my present challenges is going to turn to praise. I wish somebody can declare that in the name of Jesus. It will end in praise. I decree praise out of every situation. Out of every challenges. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Now let's go to Psalm 108, verse 1 to verse 5. Psalm 108 is almost a repetition of that same passage. Psalm 108, verse 1 to verse 5. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing. And will do what? And give praise even with my glory. Awake sultry and up. I myself, I will awake early. I will praise thee. Oh Lord among the people i will sing praises unto thee among the nations now we want to pray the second time and make declaration father throughout this month i receive the grace to wake up early and worship can you say lord i receive the grace to wake up and do my devotion i receive the grace to carry my bible and seek your face early in the morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Father, we pray that every morning we will hear your voice. And we will rise up early to pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want to re go to Psalm 112 now. Psalm 112. Psalm 112, we we'll read from verse 6, we we'll read to verse 10. And at that level, I want to pray for specific people. At the moment, God just has to intervene this month. If he doesn't intervene, I will be put to shame. I want to pray for them specifically. I am pushed to the world and my God must arise. Psalm 112, Psalm 112, verse 6. Surely, it shall not be moved forever for 
the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance verse 7 he shall not be afraid of evil tidings his heart is fixed trusting in the lord verse 8 his heart is established he shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies verse 9 he has dispersed he has given to the poor his righteousness endureth forever his sons shall be exalted with honor verse 10 the wicked shall see it and be grieved he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away the desire of the wicked shall perish psalm 109 verse 1 to verse 5 when i read this verse i'll pray and i ask them to come forward we'll pray for them the psalmist says hold not your peace O god of my praise father i have made up my mind to sing and my praise is in your hand please don't be silent on this matter arise arise i want to praise you verse 2 for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me they have spoken against me with a lying tongue they compass me about also with words of hatred and they fought against me without a cause for my love they are my adversaries but i give myself unto prayer and they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love lord i have done all i could no result yet i wanted to arise for me i'm going to pray for you now wherever you are can you just stand up if you want the lord to arise on your mouth huh? and people in that case can you come forward i have a father he will never never fail me please come forward i, I have, have a father, father. He, he will never ever, ever fail me, me. Jesus, jesus is my father Rest on here. can you stay he here will never, never ever, ever fail me, fail me. Rock of ages, never, never. I have a father. I have a father. He will never, ever fail. I have a father. I have a father. Just be with that wherever you are. Jesus is my father. He will never close in the front and wherever you are, can you close your eyes for prayer? Rock of ages, never. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Jesus never fails forevermore. He has a miracle for me. He's a miracle working God. He's a Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a Alpha. He's a miracle working God. 
Almighty God and tell him what you wanted to tell him. Lord, this is the matter that is causing me continuous tears. Please take over this matter. Oh God of oh my praise, do not hold your silence. Hold not your silence. Lord, do not be quiet on this matter. Arise. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Prove your almightiness. Let the world know that I'm serving the a, a miracle working God let the world know that my God is the one that can do all things that can change our situation miracle worker miracle worker you are the miracle worker call and do a miracle you are miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle. Destiny changer. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Come and change my destiny. My destiny today. Come and change my destiny. Powerful healer, powerful healer, you are the powerful healer. Come and heal, so powerful, so powerful today. Come and heal, come and heal, so powerful. Now we all shout Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. Let's 
the size of life. to the Lord can you speak to the Lord can you pour your heart to the Lord and say this matter I present it to the Almighty God today it shall hang in praise I will have a testimony this month the Lord will do what no man can do a miracle will take place in my life I will see the hand of the Lord in a new way the Lord will surprise me his hands will be upon my life in the name of Jesus I receive a miracle. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we pray for those who are standing, kneeling, sitting, or those who prostrated on the floor. Oh Lord, hear our cry. Let this month be the month of testimonies. Let there be praises galore. Let there be celebrations galore. Let testimonies be abounding. Everyone who came here with tears, let there be joy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It will end the praise. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Timo, money, pay my balance. Yeah. Oh, Timo, money, pay my balance. Me, oh, more, any, oh, more, any, see, oh, more, let our own. Oh, let your, oh, more, any, see, oh, more, let our own. Oh, let your career, oh, let your career, oh, let your career. Hallelujah. Are you expecting SMS of joy? Emails of joy. Chats of joy. Phone calls of joy. 30 days of noon on September will be days of joy. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. I tell your neighbor, are you expecting? Hallelujah. I tell your neighbor, are you expecting? Are you expecting? Are you expecting? Hallelujah. Peace will happen. Freedom goods will abound. Prayers are answered. Hallelujah. Amen. I wish you can dance home like this. But don't dance the way there is on the school. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you expectant? Are you expectant? Are you expectant? Can we go home now? We don't want to go home. And let me let me let me just close the service and you stay. She is your father's house. And you can sleep in your father's house. I'm trusting God. This week, miracles galore. I see miracles, I see breakthroughs, I see testimonies, I see success, I see news of joy. I see you dancing. I saw somebody calling. I said, Pastor, Pastor, oh, Tishele, it will be so. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Have a lovely week. God bless you.